Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Tomb of Sargeras Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. This time we'll be looking at the Desolate Host. This fight will have your raid split up to attack the boss from the Spirit Realm and the Corporeal Realm. You'll want to split your raid as evenly as possible, making sure to have one tank in each realm. The fonts around the room can transport you between the two realms, and when the fight starts, if at any point either realm has no occupant, the boss will constantly deal raid-wide AoE damage. Any players who are standing next to anyone from the other realm will also start pulsing AoE damage, so make sure you stay apart. You'll want your Spirit Realm group on the left side of the area, with the Corporeal Realm group on the right side. Even though the realms can't see each other's bosses, they do share health. Each side has quite a few abilities to deal with, and they cross over quite a bit, so let's talk about the Corporeal side first. This realm will see the Engine of Souls, which will constantly attack the tank with Bone Shards. The engine will also cast Collapsing Fissure, which creates a purple void zone on the floor. These deal a huge amount of damage if you step in them, so make sure you watch your feet. The engine will periodically channel Tormented Cries. This targets Corporeal Realm players and blasts them with a huge cone of shadow damage, which leaves behind a large purple patch. You need to point these away from the Spirit Realm players and line them up as neatly as you can. If you're stood on top of a previous Tormented Christ patch, you'll basically get one shot, so you can't stack them right on top of each other, just keep them as clean as possible. On Heroic Mode, the engine will also fire out Spears of Anguish at random targets. These spears will deal a bit of damage in 5 yards of the target and knock anyone hit into the Spirit Realm. It will also apply a Healing Absorption effect which prevents you from using the Spirit Fonts. The Spirit Group's healers will need to heal the absorption off you quickly so you can get back to your own group. You also want to take the spear alone. Anybody that you hit with your spear will also get dragged down into the spirit realm and also have the healing absorption effect. You'll also have two types of adds which join the fray throughout the fight. The first one is the reanimated Templar, which will cast Rupturing Slam, sending out four shockwaves which deal damage and knock you back if you get hit. It's worth noting that this ability can still hit players in the spirit realm, so everyone has to watch out. The other ad is the Ghastly Bone Warden. They'll cast Grasping Darkness, which deals damage and bounces to players within 5 yards. Everyone in the Corporeal Realm should try and spread out to limit the bouncing of this ability. On Heroic Mode, both of these ads will gain Bone Cage armor when they reach 50% health. The armor reduces damage taken by 95% for 1 minute, and the only way to get rid of it is with a Shattering Scream. But that's from an ad in the Spirit Realm, so we'll get to that later. What you will need to do is tank the ads in a specific location. In the video you can see our druid tank holding the ads on the purple marker. Now let's have a look at the Spirit Realm. They'll be fighting Soul Queen Dejana. Besides trying to crush your tank's mind, the boss will cast Soulbind. This ability links a player from each realm together, and they'll repeatedly explode until they meet up. We designated a spot at the back of the room for the targets to move to. The important thing is that they meet up quickly to remove the Soulbind. She will also channel an ability for a long duration. Hers is called Wailing Souls. This will just deal AoE damage to everyone in the Spirit Realm for a minute. You can have one tank and one healer stay in the Spirit Realm while everyone else retreats to the Corporeal Realm to avoid the AoE, or you can just heal through it. We just healed through it. On Heroic Mode, the Soul Queen will also cast Wither on random targets, which will deal damage over time and increase the damage they take from Wailing Souls by 100%. When Wailing Souls goes off, these players need to leave the Spirit Realm because chances are they'll just die from the damage. The Spirit Realm also has two types of ads to deal with. The first is the Fallen Priestesses. They will cast Spirit Chains on random players which deal damage and prevent them from using the Spirit Fonts. They will also cast Shattering Scream, which is channeled and deals damage over time. After it ticks five times, it will explode. On Normal, you can actually just interrupt this, but on Heroic Mode, you will need the five stack explosion to get rid of that pesky Bone Cage armor that the Corporeal adds get when they reach 50% health. That means a target of Shattering Scream needs to run to the location where the Corporeal tank has the adds. Remember for us, that was the purple marker. And no one can interrupt that Shattering Scream. You have to let it finish for the explosion to happen so the Bone Cage armor is removed. You only have to do this once per set of Corporeal adds, so every other Shattered Scream can be interrupted. The other little ad in the Spirit Realm is the Soul Residue. They just leave puddles on the floor when they move, so gather them up early and nuke them down. They also explode when they die, so try and move away from them when they're about dead. When you get the bosses to 30% health, you'll have a third boss to deal with. Each realm will still see their own boss, but the desolate host will join the party. 
All three bosses still share health, so killing one is as good as killing the other. The Desolate Host will start casting Sundering Doom, followed by Doomed Sundering. Each ability is an AoE around the Desolate Host, which needs to be soaked by one of the realms. Sundering Doom needs to be soaked by the Corporeal Realm, so they should stack on the boss while the Spirit Realm runs away from the boss, and Doomed Sundering is the opposite. The Spirit Realm group needs to stack on the boss, and the Corporeal Realm group needs to run away. These two abilities always alternate, so it's easy to keep track of when you should be running in and when you should be running out. The boss will also get a 10% damage buff periodically called Torment, and if either Sundering Doom or Doomed Sundering don't hit a target, the boss will gain 5 stacks of Torment, so make sure you're soaking when you need to and burn the boss down. And that's all you should need to take down the Desolate Host on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, or hop on over to Discord, we have a server at discord.gg slash Kalani, great place to come ask questions or just hang out. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.